Hi everyone, this is Cheryl N. N. <laughs> I think I said N. Anyway, good evening. This is Cheryl and Charlie's Personal Crafts. <clears throat> I hope that you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not, uh, I hope that you do and like this video, but it's going to be a short one. The reason I'm on very quickly is to tell you that we have fit the basket. We have finished our basket. It has dried. I also put a clear base coat outside when I took Charlie for a walk, a clear, it's a Mod Podge spray. I can always show you that later, but it turned out beautiful. Now, if you look closely, the edges are a little rickety. Uh, they're spliced the wrong way, and I'm gonna take care of that. But someone gave me the idea, Raha, see how right here it's, missing the material well don't worry about that because i'm i have an idea the main thing is the basket turned out beautiful even on the bottom uh, radha said why don't you paint the right here this strip yellow and i think i'm going to do that uh we're going to paint that yellow i have two different colors now this yellow is kind of not the same color as the yellow in the flowers I have this yellow, which I think matches better. So I'm going to use that. So it turned out beautiful. So tonight we're gonna to finish this up, but I can't do it right now because I'm waiting on uh, a pizza that I haven't done that in months. And I just am dying for a slice of pizza and they're coming pretty soon. Now with all that beautiful material Donna sent me, I crafted today and I made a doggy pillow for Libby now if she doesn't want this I have another idea for it so I don't want her to feel bad because I don't want to give it to a dog because Libby's a big dog and he may chew it up but isn't this adorable and I put some pink uh, ribbon uh, burlap just to make sure it doesn't cut you know splice open it's more for looks or for the dog to like lay his little head Charlie won't chew his up. His is in my room. He's more of a, he'll chew his bones and that's about it. Now, let me show you. I spilled coffee on my uh, heart um, doily that I made on camera here with the Valentine hearts and it's time to change up anyway. So I washed it out and so far so good. I washed it out with uh, Tide soap in the sink with warm water and I'm gonna see if the coffee stain comes out. But meantime, I remembered, yeah, I need to make some new doilies for summer. So look at this beautiful material Donna sent me. So I made some doilies, put little buttons on the ends. This is the size of it. And I like the buttons to, to keep the weight on it so it doesn't slide off. And, I, and to use some of my remnants of my felt i put some felt on the back can't really see it when you lay it down on the table to give it some weight that's one and this is the other one this and i, I once again i used some extra felt that i had just splices pieces that i've left over i'll either make bunnies out of them or something i don't waste it because it costs money and uh to give it weight and then i put the buttons again on the ends and because this is a colorful little thing it's got green and blue and yellow and orange and pink I could use any color buttons but I use some red and this is like a pretty deep blue like this blue and then the orange which matches this orange so those are my doilies so I'm excited about that I made today and you remember these napkins well someone which we made our cake plate someone gave me okay back it up i asked my neighbors i put a note in the laundry room that if anyone has old baskets no matter what condition if they don't want them to save them for me um, because i would like to um, revive them and make them really pretty and use them for the youtube channel so i received one basket so far and I washed it and sanitized it. And we are gonna paint that white. And I'm gonna go from there. I am gonna decoupage it. And I'm on the fence about 
because I saw another channel that uses napkins to decoupage their basket. And I watched her technique. I will tell you about her channel. I just don't know it offhand. I will give you that information when we do the basket. But she did a really nice job using the napkins and she's a real professional. She even wrote a book. I've been watching her for approximately two years. So I thought, hey, maybe I'll do that with these napkins. So I think that would really look pretty on this basket. But first things first, I sanitized it, it's drying. I'm gonna paint it with the Waverly white chalk paint and then we're gonna decoupage it. When, I'm not sure, but soon. Um, because I do want to make my seat pillow for my chair and that's been the materials been sitting here waiting so I'm not sure which I'll do first another thing I want to tell you is in my bathroom when I made the sink skirt I noticed that from the moisture using the velcro the front part was falling down I tried to stick it back and it kept falling down now the sides were good I repaired it by cutting out all the velcro in the front and ripping it off cutting it on the ends and then i added all new velcro hot glued just for additional you know security that it doesn't fall off and then i added the strip onto my sink and velcroed it back perfect so if that ever happens i just go out and purchase more velcro but lucky for me i already had it anyway i'll be back in a little bit and we'll get to work on the basket thank you Hello everyone, I'm back. You have no idea how long it's been, but it's been a while. Something on my screen again. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about a couple things that have been bothering me before we do our little basket. And I thought it's time somebody brought it, well, not somebody brought it to my attention, but uh, the lady that I've been watching, Phyllis Sykes, Stokes, why do I keep saying that? Phyllis Stokes, who has passed away uh, about a couple of months ago, and her son has taken over her channel and is doing some of her cooking and things like that uh, to try to keep it going because she has quite a few subscribers. Well, I still watch her. I look, because she has hundreds of videos and I want to learn more about her cooking and uh, I love to hear her talks. I love to hear her talk about the 50s and I love to hear her talk about life and all the wonderful things that her, she has so much knowledge, very, very intelligent woman. So I watch her every single night or day and whatever pops up, I will listen to it because she's amazing. So the thing that she talked about last night, which has always bothered me and I thought, wow, she literally talked about that was the negative comments that she had been receiving on her channel. And I, this fan is driving me nuts, but I'm drying something right now. And uh, she got some, must have gotten back then when she was alive, some really negative comments. This must have been a year or so before she passed away. And uh, that, that's always bothered me. And I always wondered why the people that come on your channel Thankfully, that has not happened to me. I'm a very sensitive person, and um, I thank God that hasn't happened to me. But I always wondered why. Why does someone have, like my grandma always said, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it at all. If you don't like a channel, don't watch it, you know? And that's how I feel. But they were very negative towards her, and I could tell, even though she got on there and put them straight, that it was upsetting to her. The other thing I want to talk about are, are the thumbs down. There is a certain person that I watch, I won't name her, and she's a sweet lady. And I can tell she's had a, a terrible year and she's struggling through life right now. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what her struggles are, but she is just touched my heart because of her inner strength uh, for what everything she's going through, she's carrying on. And I noticed these strange comments and thumbs down on her channel. And I'm like, why would someone do that? When they see the girl is struggling, 
and they're making negative comments about our camera equipment and I think why would you do that you know this bothers me so much but I just wish I haven't had that thank God I got wonderful subs and I'm sure it could have it's gonna or it will happen to me and I'll have to put them straight but I don't know if you don't like a channel I just don't watch it but you know that little thumbs down can really honest to God it can wreck your day unless you're really a strong person in a good position in life so I just want to say just be kind if you don't like something don't watch it you know um, it's just not necessary and uh, so I just wanted to get that off my chest thank you for listening okay um, I wrote some stuff down that I, I, I just it just bothers me so much when I saw Phyllis talking about how many negative comments she had, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, oh, what I give to have a personality like that and uh, the knowledge that she has, it's just unbelievable. Uh, that people, I guess it's some jealousy or, or something. I don't know, but I'm, I don't wanna be a part of any of that. Anyway, um, now the virus, this, this coronavirus. Uh, I've been staying in a lot more uh, because I do have a chronic illness um, and it's cancer and I'm on a chemo pill which is a targeted therapy in case you are all wondering. It's called Imbruvica and it's for my type of chronic cancer. Uh, yeah, does it make me feel sick sometimes? Yep. Does it make me feel bad? Yep. But I feel a lot ble more blessed than a lot of other people to getting infusions and this, you know things like that. So I feel really blessed. So I'm, but I am avoiding contact with people as much as possible. I go outside with the dog. I don't shake hands. I give them the high five or whatever, because we're in a, we're in an elderly community and, and living space. So I just wanted to bring that and pray for everyone and pray for our country and pray for the world that everything gets better and that we cure this thing. But anyway, I wanted to mention that too. Okay, let's get to the good stuff, positive stuff. So the basket turned out beautiful. Look at this. And I didn't even light a candle. Look, and I put two coats, Mod Podge, and I put a Mod Podge Mott, Matte, Matte, M-A-T-T-E spray uh, a couple coats of that so it is it's not going anywhere it's going to really last now like I told you earlier uh, some of the edges are a little cracked because it's material and I had to cut it fast to get the Mod Podge on and I'm not I, I don't have a lot of patience for stuff like that so what I'm going to do tonight we're uh, and this was Radha's idea one of my subs and dear friends she said to color this paint this yellow well I have two yellows and like I said I chose this one because it's closest match to this so I'm going to paint that right now and uh, I'll take you off a of camera for a little bit and I'll be back okay I painted it and it's not dry yet but I wanted to show you how beautiful Radha you hit the nail on the head girl I love it and I love how I I'm glad I didn't choose that yellowy it's just a typical yellow. This is called Pale Daffodil. The one I used, multi-surface Nicole's Craft Light Spice Acrylic Craft Paint, Nicole's. Really pretty. It even has a little shine to it. So when this dries, I, have, I always have the fan on my stuff. What I will do is um, put a little Mod Podge. I have a little bit left out of this bottle it's probably like to there and then I have to wait till I get paid my dear check and I'm gonna get a bigger bottle. So I'll put a little bit of Mod Podge to give it a nice sheen like the basket itself. And this is without any uh, candlelight. I always like to use a candlelight. So it's beautiful, I'm thrilled. And thank you guys for choosing these daisies or whatever they are, the material that Donna bought me. I really love it. Now, the next thing I want to do, and I don't think I can do it right now because the paint is wet, is the imperfections in here. 
around the basket. That's an issue and that does bother me. So I bought some more twine and what I'm going to do is put a layer, when this dries, I'm gonna put a layer of the twine around the imperfections. They'll be hidden, won't see it, beautifully done. And it'll look like a perfect little basket. And now the handle. I don't know. I'm looking at this beautiful yellow and I'm thinking, should I paint the handle too, Rod Hall? What do you think? Well, let's let this dry because I can't even put this on here until it's dry. And since we're on here, I want to show you my neighbor. I put a note up that I need anybody's old baskets if they would like to give them away. Uh, I told them in, in any condition, I'll take them. And um, what I'm going to do, I washed this and sanitized it with, uh, I use um, a spray bottle of uh, a half a bottle of water, distilled water or just plain water, this tap water, six, seven drops of Dawn dish liquid. Uh, I use about a, this much, a quarter, or let's just say, uh, I'm gonna say uh, not not that much. Maybe like a half a cup of uh, or less or less of alcohol. Just rubbing alcohol, and maybe I'll put a few drops of essential oil. Now I don't have any really nice smells right now because I haven't purchased it, but I will. Uh, I buy uh, Brittany's. Uh, Vassar's essential oils. She has a YouTube channel and I love her oil. She started an essential oil company. I do like hers because you can buy them separate. You don't have to buy like a whole kit. So um, now that it's sanitized and clean and it's a cute little basket that she gave me, I really appreciate it. Uh, what I'm going to do, something's on the bottom here. I gotta wash that off. What I'm going to do is repaint this white. It's a little bit, you know, it's old and I'm lucky to have it. It's in good shape, but I want to paint it white and I'm going to use the Waverly chalk paint. And I was told by one of the great uh, ladies that has a YouTube channel and I did tell you I was going to get her name and I, I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. She's awesome. Uh, she wrote a book on Mod, Mod Podge and Decoupage, and uh, I gotta get her channel, I'm really sorry. Um, she uses uh, napkins. She put some napkins on her basket, and it, it really was neat. And she has a different technique. She does use the saran wrap to, to sponge it in, to get into crevices, but she has a special brush that she uses on the baskets that I don't have. So I wanna to try to get that brush because it gets in all the little crevices in the basket. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna paint it and then I think I'm gonna decoupage it with a napkin or a material. I'm not sure which one. But the way this material turned out, oh, I love it. I really love it. So either way, it's gonna be a hit. Now, I want to show you some of the things that I want to put in the basket. My friend gave me these cute little eggs from the Dollar Tree. There's like three colors and they're very sparkly, but they do shed. They do shed. So, I've got them. I used up most of Donna's eggs. And I have my basket, but we can't do it at the moment because my basket's not quite dry, and I wanted to show you how I was gonna paint the edge. But I have a lot of flowers I'm gonna put in it. I'm not sure, I got a little butterfly. I got some butterflies that Rosemary sent me. And this is the Celsius, I think, I'm gonna put inside the basket. And I also got a little yellow bird from Rosemary. I've got several birds, but I'm gonna use the yellow one to pick up the yellow. And I also have, this, I got it all ready for us for when we do the basket, my carrots, my little handmade carrots. This, I'm gonna put these carrots, and I'm gonna put this one in the basket, made of purple felt, 
this, these two, I'm gonna put one in my bathroom because this is the material that I used for my sink skirt and I'm gonna show you in a minute. So uh, we'll be all set tomorrow to put everything in the basket. I'm sorry, but I didn't think about the paint. And so we're gonna to have to do the um, twine around the outer edges to cover up the imperfections. I think that's necessary. And uh, then we're gonna put assort everything else in it to make it look beautiful. And I wanted to do it tonight, but I don't wanna mess it up. I should have painted it before I came on, but you guys I know understand, I hope. And uh, so that's about it. And I'm gonna let you see Charlie. And after that, I'm gonna show you my bathroom, the, how I fixed the sink skirt. So hang on. Okay, folks, we are in my bathroom. And as you see, if you remember a while ago, I bought the um, Ivy and I hate my bathroom. It kind of just looks dreary and I like it, but I wanted to spruce it up a bit. So I put the Ivy around my mirror because the mirror is like old fashioned and dated. And I put some dollar store uh, Christmas lights around it. It almost looks like a makeup mirror, so I really like it. And if you see, I have my carrots, my handmade carrots, and the bottles that I wasn't allowed to put in the hallway. And on the blue one, I wrote Happy Easter, and on the other side, across Rise, so I can turn it around, and it's got little carrots I handmade. And then you remember this, I made, made this out of a dollar store picture frame and I love it every day, not every day, but I change the, uh, you know, the whatever I want to write on here each day, I change the phrase and, you know, happy holidays or something I'm feeling or cheer something to cheer any people up. And I always have little Charlie there. And I wrote Relax Suds Bubbles. You've probably seen this before, but if you didn't, I really love this. And today I repaired my sink skirt. So there it is. I just added brand new, um, oh my goodness, what do you call it? The Velcro. And I also added the Velcro, uh, the other piece of the Velcro that sticks to the tape. I added a brand new of that just in the front because the sides are okay. All this time and it's lasting beautiful. It really is. So my little carrots match my sink skirt. So like I said, don't throw anything away. And I have my little heart here um, that I made. And one day it has all my grandkids. And the other, the other, one day I'll do one side and the other day I'll do the other side with Charlie. And uh, over here, I have a white basket that I decoupaged before I moved in. It's a basket that my sister-in-law gave me and I painted the handles gray. And these are both decoupaged with the flowers. I love those napkins. And I have my Q-tips in there and the one jar and here's just a beautiful vase. And I tried to match up the flowers. So that's it. Um, that's my bathroom. Let me back up so you can see. Oh, one other thing I want to tell you. Do you notice this where my toilet paper is? Well, I, a YouTuber, Brittany Vassar, who's having a little girl now. She has like over a million viewers. Always tells you neat things to buy for storage. Well, this was like maybe 10 bucks or less and it's got your toilet paper hidden on the side of the toilet and it's awesome i love it for the, it's just perfect in case you run out of the old toilet paper so that's my bathroom folks now let's go see charlie there he is charlie did you enjoy your pizza i gave him a little teeny tiny piece of pizza just to get him happy did you enjoy it? You don't like being on camera, do you? No. We'll say goodbye, everybody.
Say goodbye. There he is. There's my baby enjoying his life. There he is. Okay, everyone. Hold on. Oops. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. Forget about the thumbs down. That's just... Just don't watch. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And this is from Cantastic. The amazing Cantastic. Look at this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.